Nice. So I remember back in 2002 or 2003, I owned a Samsung desktop unit called Magic Station MF20. I don't think this was available in US or uh, UK or Europe. It, I, I purely bought it back from South Korea and then I brought it with me in UK. And I loved the design because it was a slim model and it looked so much like my um, PlayStation 2 at the time, the silver edition as well. So I was very chuffed because I actually put in my Magic Station MF20 along with my silver PlayStation 2 um, standing up version of it. And when I look at it, when I walked into my uh, studio as an architectural student, I was really chuffed about it. Um, but it kind of shows how much I was into gadgets, I guess, at, from the old days. And then afterwards, I really wanted to get very slim like very easy to carry laptop so i end up buying a very expensive very compact very tiny um, laptop probably it was one of the tiniest laptop that you could ever get because it came with a separate cd um, usb connected cv cd um, case as well and um, i was using that for many years but because i was bending like that over many hours i actually thought i had a stomach cancer at the time because your stomach my stomach was constantly uh, pressed but um, afterwards i actually looked into this really tiny model which is called sony viop i don't know any of you guys actually would remember this but it was literally a pc size of that that you could almost fit into the back side of your pocket and carry it with you so i was really into those sort of gadgets really compact laptops and um, i realized uh, well then i end up using samsung laptop all along but the whole point I'm actually mentioning about this story, uh, rather long story, is that all along from my younger youth time up to this point, I would say, except the Surface um, Pro 4, I've been using Samsung computer all along because you will notice that before Samsung became how Samsung is today, People in Korea was using, most of the people were using Samsung computer, uh, desktop and laptop. Samsung computer was really well known. Samsung, when people say Samsung, it, it was about computer. And now they move into the mobile phone and it's now diff very difficult to get the Samsung laptop. I know there were one or two released lately, but suddenly the trend has changed. But the whole point I'm mentioning about this is that regards to computer and knowledge and what Samsung can do regards to the computer IT side, it is Samsung's uh, main uh, interest. And that's why I realized Samsung DeX is a very interesting project where all of a sudden we don't no longer potentially need to carry our heavy laptop with us. It will be all through Samsung DeX and, and this is the way of the future. And um, some people say it might be a USB, all, all you need to carry is a USB in the future, but we're already heading towards that direction. Now we managed to gone down to the compact size of a mobile phone. And that's why I wanna explore the Samsung DeX side and see how much of a limit we can achieve with the current technology. So what I'm gonna do on this video is explore this uh, Samsung DeX to see how much as an architecture student or an architect's point of view you can use uh, for Samsung DeX. So here goes. Who needs an iPad? Yes. 
This is a Samsung 27 inch monitor that I had for a while. So, got the cable. HDMI should go here. So, for the moment of truth, Samsung Dex connected. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Start. Samsung Dex. So we've got a desktop here. Oh yeah, make sure you have to charge it as well because the battery will be drained out. So, there you go. All right, everyone. So we've got all this set up so I can see my file Google. If I click on to the Google folder, I can view YouTube. So let's click on that for the time being. Double click, unfortunately. So all these, um, yeah, let's click on this one. So you can pause it like that. That's all good. Um, so I can view YouTube, but also at the same time, I could use this as a, a secondary screen as well for, um, Oh, what's going on here? Okay, Samsung Dex is back online. Now, the other thing I could do is obviously like web browsing, but also let's say if I were to um, go for like Microsoft Office kind of thing. So let's try out the word Microsoft Office. Um, we got all these documents, um, my book, for example, if I open it up. So this is just the book that I was writing long time ago, but just regards to biblical stuff anyway. So I can type in, so that's all working. The other thing I can do is, um, well, looking photos, but the main target, again, I said from my previous video is about checking out the CAD. So I got AutoCAD here. Uh, so this is AutoCAD, AutoDesk, I'm registered for that. So this is a bit of a confidential information, so I'm not going to show you the full page, but um, you can do some basic works, like you could use some smart pen. I have no idea what this is for, but you can actually check the dimensions to see whether it is eight meters here. Uh, I think you can draw some simple lines here and there, but it's not a proper um, CAD file, CAD editor software that I use, unfortunately. I've been using CAD for almost 17 years now. The biggest problem is how do I zoom in, zoom out? You actually use, according to the community, quite rightly, you use your smartphone to be able to zoom in by doing that. But uh, when it comes to full editing, you can't. I can't even find out how I'm supposed to click on these layers. It's There's these three dots, but current, set current, lock. It's very, it's an, another new software that is completely different. I mean, if, if some competitors will come up with an AutoCAD software similar to the AutoCAD on the, on the uh, computer software, it would have been much closer to than this actual viewer. So it's, in other words, it's like feeling, it feels like learning another new software and it's very basic. So I don't, I wouldn't recommend it. I'm just begging from this video, either from AutoCAD or for Samsung to come up with a solution. For Samsung is whether you can come up with a more realistic uh, window system that you'll be able to use AutoCAD uh, softwares. And for AutoCAD uh, community or AutoCAD um, software de developer themselves, whether you can come up with a Android friendly software so that guys like me, who is a registered CAD user could use it freely. Anyway, so I hope I made a point on this. Uh, my quest will continue to see whether someone like me using Samsung DeX will be able to use this sort of uh, software in such circumstances in a most fullest version. But at this stage, I highly doubt it. So slightly disappointed. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. Speak to you soon. All the best. Bye-bye.